Welcome back to Ruckus Plays Grim Fandango Part 8. We didn't get a lot accomplished last episode, so let's see if we can make some more headway on getting some CB equipment and getting ourselves a Union Pass in this week's episode of Ruckus Plays Grim Fandango. Okay. Ba-dum, ba-da, 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 ba-da. Let's see here. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take a little bit of a hit for the road. Well, maybe just a sip. Ding. <sighs> I don't think I could swallow any more metal right now. Ta-da! Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Positive. Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And, of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm-hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees you everywhere say. you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. That's interesting. I always like dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just mm, love dates. prunes? They have such a great texture. Never a texture. big fan of prunes. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> Mm, Poor dates. Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting Hedwig, things. Hedwig, that's an interesting name. I remember one time Hedwig, back when I was six. Hedwig, that's an interesting name. Or maybe I was seven. Ah, six. The golden year. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus Probably was still alive. Now there was a good Mr. dog. Rufus? Mr. Rufus? He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, huh? but he'd still try What's to that? bark. <laughs> and it would come out sounding like a cat. I remember I had a Coughing up a hairball, which our cat Could often I did. That he metal had such detector long for a hair. Second. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Sure did. Sure fucking did. Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are no. after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Don't play me like this, Carla. That's not the thing I want. That's not... Which one of these things is what I... That's what I want. Carla, I need your help. Ooh, he's sliding. Uh, Shit. Can't open the part that I think has the key in it. Oh, fuck. What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! Ooh. Ha ha! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. Shoot. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. Yeah, I don't have any more. Well, I don't have yet, I guess I should say. But we're gonna go get it. What but was that... Nick doing with this key? I don't know, but we're gonna see if we can't find the fuck out. Let's see here. Da da da. I'm super excited that he gets to play in the poopies. Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh, no. Yeah, it's in the poopies. I could open it with my teeth, but I'm not that hungry. 
I don't know why I'm opening this, but I feel compelled to open it every time I'm in here. I say every time. Great. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. Well, you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Scythe? Yes. Scythe that shit right here. Nope. Not there yet. Aha! Uh -huh. Get it. Scythe it. Convenient. A little stinky, but it could be worse. I'm not entirely sure what... Oh. Put that metal detector, detector away. Oop. That's the key. Ah. Hmm. I think it's just picking up my blade. Not the cat food. That's the metal. That's right. Whatever. Doody 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 do do. Um, how do we? <gasps> Actually, I think. Where does this go? I don't remember. Ah, yeah, here. This should be okay. No, that won't do me no good. I'm guessing. I guess I don't know that, but. Oh, I should have gone the other way, shouldn't I have? This is the boat way, isn't it? Yep. Don't have that kind of equipment. It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone. And I thought to myself how the moon that, that night, night cast, cast its light, light on my heart's true delight and the reef where her body was, was strewn. Ooh. It's locked. I uh, know, I locked it. Um. Want a turkey baster full of bong water? Me neither. Da -da -do -de oh, wait a second here. Uh, oh. Maybe this takes me back to the bees? Ah, uh, it does. But we don't want to go to the bees. We actually want to go back here. There's some bad news bears. It's locked. Not any longer. Lola? Careful, Manny. You may not want to see me like this. Lola! Did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad. But he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Say yes! Say Never yes! Never mind. No. She just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! Sad face McGee. Oh, Lola. Get the picture of the tongue. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it. And it says number 22, Lengua. With what? No, I didn't mean to. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Luckily, I have a pretty good idea of where I'm going. Wow. 
I suppose two birds here. Ah, oh, I missed some shit. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. Hey, G Thang. Oh, I like barely slowed down the end. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? Herp? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? <laughs> Compadre? He laughed at me. Ooh, ooh, meche. Whoo, yeah! Ah, thanks, Lupe. You're the best. Where's my lingua card? That card. Hey! Oh. Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh. Darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, because I won't even be here in town anymore. There's oh. a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Hmm. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. Manny! I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me. Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be Oops. quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! I think this is the key we just had that what's-his-fuck had. Um, yeah, let's go see if the CBs know about this card. I doubt it, but we're gonna see. I see what you did there. Oh, CBs! This is like a total freaking out on a whim sort of thing. Probably nothing. Okay. Uh, mean anything to you? Ah, the rusty anchor. Yeah, we used to swarm that bar every night till the union shut them down. Didn't like us all congregating like that or something. Now, if you want to have a drink in this town, you gotta have a black turtleneck and like bad poetry. Or have a silk cummerbund and a taste for gold flake liqueur. No offense. Uh, I'm offended. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? So it's a bar. But I shit, I have no idea. Wait, maybe let's go see if she knows anything about it.
Hey, can I borrow this book? No dice, Cumberbund. What if I give you some gold flake liqueur? He probably won't. I'm pretty sure I've tried this before, and I don't think he lets he lets me do it. Well, maybe just a sip. Shit. Ah. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Fine, don't fucking do it. Whatever. You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Hmm. Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention because it's pretty short. That <laughs> burped in her face. She seems kind of glitchied. Hey, how about another poem? I'm bone dry. Flesh out of poems. Just begin again at the top. They get better each time. Really? Okay. I reach, reach out. out. Does he hear? Hear. Rise, Rise up. up. Dig, Dig this, this real. Forgive, Forgive these, these five sins. sins. Inside, inside a dream. Inside, inside a dream. dream. I, I curl, curl into, into a fist. fist. I, am I am not, not dead. dead. Click, 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 click. Hey, you stole my poem. Hey, you can't own words, Daddy. Hmm. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Hmm. I suppose this is a poetry club. They may like a little bit of light reading. I don't think that's the right thing, but we'll see. Manuel, I am sorry to hear it. You must be patient if it is not. He still thinks I'm in love with her. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera. A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? Fuck What's yeah. he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you catch mine if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Uh, maybe I can give it to the sea bees. I don't know why. <gasps> yeah! It's how to report the union, isn't it? Oh, fuck yeah! Give it to the sea bees. <sighs> yes. Viva la revolucion. All right. Cucumber, ready to jive with my hip tails. Ooh, I need to drop off something else. Yeah, this bad boy, right her, right her. Hey guys. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back. Yeah, hmm. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. Yeah, I can steal somebody's shit. That does it. 
Bucks. Bo, 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 bo. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. No, oh, but their equipment! But, but, but... So, what are you guys doing to free Terry? Hmm, guess it's up to me. Shit balls. He doesn't seriously owe me a favor. He was in talking to Maximino. I think that's who it was. Or maybe he is. Fuck, I don't remember who's who. Who's what, when, where, and why? Uh, high roller suite. Especially since I think Gladys is in here. Bus, 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 bus. Almost there! Uh, I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Oh, uh, but I need to talk to Get Nick! I'm assuming Nick That's is the lawyer that owes me a favor. Yeah. Okay, Gladys, what's the deal? You're doing it. Pause in the air. Let's go. I had no idea you liked gambling so much, Gladys. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. But they can't get in the high rollers loud, Doc, can they? <laughs> Meow, baby! I love Gladys. I love him so much. He is great. I forgot I was going to put on that. Coming home soon? I'm visualizing. Gladys, are you... you can do it. Are you okay, Gladys? <sighs> you seem a little drunk. Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Go, go, go! Coming home soon? What did you say, little kitty? Don't talk, kitty cat. Just run, baby! Come on! <laughs> Gladys is my fucking favorite. I love you, Gladys. Um... Almost there! Hey, demon. Teenage demon, <sighs> baby. Wake up, Izzy! Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here! Sorry about my friend. I'll get him out of here if you want. Who? Oh, Gladys? He's all right. He's just got to pace himself. I can barely get any sleep between changing casks for you. Okay. 99. <sighs> hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Okay. 99. <sighs> Well, that's not helpful. Beep. 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 This is it. Well, I'm not really sure. Touch it, buddy. What's the do's? <gasps> I still need to it. find my way to the anchor. I got sidetracked. Go, kitty. Ba da ba da ba da ba 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 da ba da ba ba. Oh, maybe this guy knows. Probably not, but maybe. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I still need to drop that off. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Well, All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Um... Well, maybe just a sip. No, fuck shit. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Fine, don't do it. What even am I doing? I'm not sure what I hate more. Crowd, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. Well, this seems like the right kind of rusty anchor type place. Maybe the key opens something else, like this door right here. I doubt it. Maybe it opens this cage. Up here. Mm, this key doesn't seem to go with that lock. and around she goes where it stops nobody knows do 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 bonk We can talk to him. He's got what's his face. Um, I'm assuming bus busted. Bogus Bogan is up there. But first, would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Hmm. Let's see here. See if we can get CB free. And then he can give me his equipment. Hey Terry, that was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry, I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick, before the movement loses its buzz. Oh. How you holding up, hero? Manny, you gotta get me out of here. I'm, a I'm working on it. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. Hmm. Sounds kind of like the suitcase that. What? Uh, what's his name? Wanted me to get. can do is talk to her over there, huh? 
That's it for this episode of Ruckus Plays Grim Fandango. We've got quite a bit accomplished from getting a metal detector and given the right words to the CBs. Tune in next week to see if we're able to free the worker CB from the jail and other exciting things that Rubakava has to offer. 